Each year, thousands of veterans return from active duty looking to re-enter civilian life. But sometimes that transition can be tough, especially when it comes to finding a job. But at a recent job fair, especially geared towards our servicemen and women, there was plenty of good news. Susan Kennedy has a story. The Career After Military Outreach event was held at the Silver Spring Civic Center and was sponsored by the D.C. Society for Human Resource Management. It was an opportunity for local veterans to connect with companies who are committed to supporting our servicemen. We have more than 46,000 veterans in Montgomery County. We're proud of their service to the United States um, and it, for the most part the skills that you learn in the armed services are transferable to the private sector but it's an adjustment. Uh, when men and women come home from their service abroad it takes some time to get situated in the private sector but we are so grateful for what they've done that we want to do everything we can to assist them to make that smooth transition. Several companies committed to hiring vets were on hand at the job fair to talk to candidates about roles they had available. Carol Leary is preparing to re-enter civilian life. She told us it's a tough transition, but the job fair has inspired her to take action. Because you're not sure how your current skills will transition over into a civilian workforce. Um, a lot of the recruiters here, um, they've, you know, said, hey, you know, you're, you're good at XYZ. That translate into, you know, the, these different areas that we're looking for. You know, you might not even know that. So it's, it's really helpful being out here. Steve Rice knows what it is like to make that transition from active duty to civilian life. He was wounded in Iraq and after months of rehabilitation was back in the job market. My situation about when I got hurt and how I gained employment. He came to the job fair to offer support to his fellow vets. It can be tough, he says, but he tells them to never give up hope. I, I look at myself as something that's made it after uh, suffering a severe injury in war, hopefully motivate others to, to stick with it and keep, keep fighting to gain employment, keep fighting to be happy and reintegrate into, into life after service. In 2008, Montgomery County adopted a hiring preference for veterans. Both Leventhal and Councilmember Tom Hucker believe it's important for the county to show its appreciation to those men and women who served. I come from a, um, a family where my, my grandfather, my father, and my brother are all veterans. It's really good that we have programs like this to connect our, our veterans um, to so many jobs that are available that people wouldn't find out about except for events like this. And for Carol Leary, the day was leading to the opening of some new doors. Uh, looks like it will. Looks like it will. In Silver Spring, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.